Hi YouTube, I'm making this video uh, to show you the setup I have in my living room of the LEDs. You have a shot of Stewie's head. I like Stewie, he's cool. Back to the lights. This is my living room. Uh, I installed LED lightings all over and it does a good job lighting for what we need. I begin with this light here, the stand lamp. It's got two lights. I bought it from Walmart. It was a 120 volt light. I took the lights out and installed two LED lights in them. And there are 5 watts, 12 volts. And I can turn them off and on. The switches that came with the light. It's a nice stand lamp. It was for like $20. Here's how the LED looks inside. I wired the light to uh, this main strip that I have up there all the way to the end that brings the power from the battery bank right there and it runs across the beam all the way to this junction box and I installed switches for all these light here's one switch down here that controls that LED strip light I can turn it off and use the other lights and also I have installed these flat LEDs they're like one watt each in the skylights and they have their own separate switch I wired them through that thin wire it's 24 gauge goes all around from right there and goes to the switch I installed three of them in each skylight what these flat lights do they heat the surrounding and create a nice mellow light that shoots down in the room and light up the area there's Stu again and this is the switch for the those flat LED lights there and one down here okay this is the main that brings the power from the battery banks in the garage I use 12 by 3 wire and of course they say 3 but there are 4 wires there including the ground I just use 2 wires that bring the power to that junction box uh, it's a makeshift junction box it was a kit project box from Radio Shack that I changed to the junction box and then it runs all the way to the end of the room to those lights at the end 
and you can see it gives pretty good light the way they are and the total draw on all these lights together is less than 3 amps when they're running and that's the kitchen lighting uh, I made a video of it before I use those fluorescent fixtures I put two LEDs 10 watt each in this one and four 10 watts in that one there they both have their own separate switches so depending what we're doing can turn them off and on this is another shot of the lights you can see the mellow reflection of the LED strip on that wall and the three skylights that shoot the light down in the room so you directly won't see the LEDs to bother your eyes you just see the reflection of the lights going around and on the wall coming back to the room I may change those two uh, lights from cool light to warm light uh, I don't care much about them they kind of annoying in my opinion but they give up good light and also uh, I run at a straight wire to these LEDs that they on all the time like night light and they heat this globe here and the little mirrors around the dragon and they give up good light and reflection at night they on all the time I put three of them and one here and one at the end over there uh, I'll walk closer so yeah. I just got this camera I'm not using my cell phone anymore so I'm, I'm getting uh, to know the camera how it's work it's a Samsung high definition it, it has a good performance for the money I paid for it and it does a, it does a job for me here's the other LED that hits to this crystal ball and uh, reflects the light all over at night these are on all the time the three LEDs and they use minimal power here's another shot of the LED strip over there it's five meters long and uses less than an amp I checked it with the clamp ammeter and usage on it is minimal gives up good light there's the kitchen again I'll go to the kitchen and uh, shoot some uh, video from the lights in the kitchen okay here we are in the kitchen these are the LED lights I put in the fluorescent casing I'm gonna turn them off you can see they they light up the area good and you can tell without them the area is kind of dark and also these are the under counter lights this one is the same as the ones I put on the skylights it's like less than one watt we use this one as night light and those bluish ones uh, we use them when we do cooking or basically they're sometimes they're on all the time we turn those off again for you
total darkness. Here's the night light. It gives up good light. That that light is on most of the time. And doesn't use any electricity at all. And uh, here's the under counter, under cabinet lights. And the fluorescent LED lights which were pretty good. This is the lighting system of my kitchen and my living room. I'm going to expand it all the way through the hallway and the bedrooms and the computer room and see how much I can save on the electricity. There's another shot of the living room with the LED lights. Uh, if you have any questions or I missed something, please let me know. I'll be glad to correct it or give you the answer that you're seeking about the wiring and the lighting. I'm, I'm really glad I can do this because uh, I learned a lot from YouTube and I hope this will help you in your project. Thank you and have a good one.